Hello, uh, Rhea from Maisimo here. Now I thought I would um, jump on quickly today and put together some of my witch's hat hair clips or these also go on headbands. These have, I've had these in the store now for a couple of years and they're always popular at this time of year with Halloween. I did notice though that someone had mentioned they were having trouble um, assembling one. So I thought I'd jump on and just show you exactly how to assemble. Now I've just done this one and I wasn't filming so I'm going to do another one for you. This is what you get when you get the template. You get the bow template and the hat. Okay so what we're going to do is um, pop it together for you. Now one two three there's three parts to this template. Um, you've got the two main body pieces here and they are they can be cut from faux leather or from glitter canvas and I've got, I'm just popping the middle out of this one here, this is a um, backing piece that you won't see but you've got the two slits for putting through a headband or your clip and I've cut this out of foam, I quite like using foam on the back of these, it sticks really well, it's quite um, structural and it's quite soft on the head. So first of all I'm going to show you how to put the hat together. So you've got a cone, you've got this shape here which is going to be your cone. This is such a fluffy backed fabric but um, you'll get the idea. Now you can see on one side here we've got the little tab, just a little straight tab that comes around and goes under like that. Okay so what you want to do is just simply make a cone. You want to kind of pinch it so that you've got a nice point at the top. Okay like that. So then you're going to take your circle and you're going to slip it over. So when you've slipped this over I like to hold at the top so that it doesn't sort of unravel. And you want to work your way down with your ring until it's near where the top of these tabs start because these tabs are there to be folded backwards to hold the structure. Okay. Radio. So you've got that in which means that you know that this is the circumference of the cone. Um, we don't glue it first because you might do that and then because of the thickness of the fabric it may not fit. So we have a bit of glue under here for now that's going to hold that in place. You can remember always go back and add glue. So I'm going to just pop that in there to hold that. Okay, now if you put that down on your tabletop you want to sort of fold back, might have been an idea to fold the back before we put it in, but that's okay, it gives you, glitter, glitter can be pinched quite easily, so we're going to try and bring that down, so you're sort of flattening your top down onto your tabs, that's pretty much what your shape's going to be of your wee witch's hat to go under and put some glue under these. If I do this quickly I can then pop it on the table again. There we go. Using the table means you'll have a nice flat base. Oh it's quite sharp this. There we go. Rainbow glitter. So yes, yeah, so I've made this one here with the bow and I thought I'd do something different today with this one. I might use some chul. You see these a lot with the chul and I thought I'd give it a go um, in assembling it. So if you're going to just make it so that it's like this one here, all you're going to do is simply glue, glue onto the backing piece which is smaller than the front so you won't, you've got to make sure that it's not overlapping anywhere. Keeping in mind where you've got your wee slits there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some chul to this base. Now don't mind the back of that because you're not going to see that, that's the ugly part where the rollers have gone over my um, foam. Now I thought with the chul it might be easier to get a bit of a gather by using a needle, a couple of bits of embroidery thread, and all I've done is I've folded the chul over, it's probably quite hard to see, sort of made a tube 
four pieces and I've gotten my oh, I'm bunched up. Here we go. Then I've gotten my thread and simply going in and out because you're just wanting to gather it. Just in and out, in and out. Okay, so you can see what it's done is it's just gathered it. Sort of even out your gathers. Got a circle. So we want that circle to be stuck down onto the base. Um, now, you can see how it's going to come out the bottom. It's going to look quite cute. Okay, so I'm going to go around and trim this. You can see I've started trimming it there. Just a little short kind of fringe, I think. It's going to look quite cute. Okay, so you can trim that once it's on there later, but you can see that you've got your base. Okay, so we're going to get your hat. Figure out which side you want to be sort of your front. I think we might decorate this with some flowers. Um, so the best way to test this is you've got your headband or your clip and you're going to be wearing it sort of like one way or the other. So we're going to want the front bit that we like the look of. Or I might just make, make it so that that's at the back. Okay, so there we go. So we've lined that up. We're happy with where it is. You want to make sure you're covering your base and we're going to go around and sandwich the top one. So I'm going to just start from one side. Okay, there we go. So we've glued that in place. How will we decorate this? Now, we could put a bow on it, just like we've done with this one. I have got paper flowers here, which might look quite good. Oh, and I've got some. I wonder if that would look very good. Okay, so I've finished my um, witch's hat with the cord around the middle. Uh, it looks a little bit like a braided kind of boho strap so I just thought we'll pop that on and I've tied the flowers which come you've probably seen these they have the little wire that just has been tied around the middle and then I finished just by gluing them once they were in place I'm quite pleased with that that's quite cute it's, it's a little bit um a bit more girly and like I say it's my I kind of would call that my little boho flower um which is hat obviously we've still got um the more traditional style which has got the um, bow on it but the structure and everything else is the same just like how I've shown you nice and easy I do hope you enjoy creating those thanks bye